family operates a lion farm in the heart of Africa. Mia, the oldest daughter, is unhappy about their recent transfer since she misses her pals from London. In contrast to her brother Mick, who has bad mental health, she likewise stays away from the animals and doesn't even want them in the same room as her. Mia's lack of friends causes her to frequently get into trouble at school, which worries her mother Alice but only enrages her father John. Mia doesn't pay attention when he attempts to tell her how fortunate she is to live in such a stunning location. When Mick begins to experience sleep terrors once more, Alice tells him a story to help him relax. It tells the story of the Shangan shaman who foretold the miracle of the birth of a white lion on Christmas. When Christmas finally arrives at the Owen household, John appears with a white lion cub that they call Charlie. Charlie's presence on the farm will be significant to draw more visitors because there are very few opportunities to see a white lion, but Mia also ignores him. Later, Mia tries to video chat with a buddy from England, but he is busy and cannot keep her company at this time, causing Mia to cry. Mia smiles as she finally dares to pet the tiny man after Charlie comes over and attempts to soothe her, but she lies when Mick teases her about it. When she attempts to practice soccer outside and Charlie approaches to seize her ball, bursting it, things get irksome for her once more. When John tries to divert her attention with the pancakes made by the housekeeper, Jody, Mia scoops up Charlie and drags him inside to visit her family while grumbling the entire time. One morning while feeding Charlie, Mick nods off, causing the lion to go torment Mia. She's apprehensive at first, but Charlie eventually wins her over. And the two of them develop a bond as she takes on the responsibility of feeding him. Mia starts playing with Charlie and Mick every day from that point on. When Charlie is four months old, he has doubled in size and has grown to be Mia's closest companion. He's also picked up how to obey her commands exactly, developing into a well-behaved pet. Alice notices that Mia is still in bed with Charlie and warns her that the lion will have to stay outside once he becomes too big and, more importantly, becomes too dangerous to be inside. Mia is reading a book about lions one night while reading beneath the covers with a flashlight. Charlie is bothered by the setup and begins pawing at Mia, but she is not afraid and understands that it is only a test. Mia starts accompanying her father on his feeding rounds after being moved by her relationship with Charlie, and decides to start seeing the other farm animals as well. She seizes the opportunity to inquire about the farm's financial situation, and John responds by explaining that once the guest house is completed, they will attract visitors, filmmakers, and researchers, as well as sell lions to zoos and other breeders. Mia prohibits John from ever selling Charlie, but John is unconcerned and reminds her that lions are never meant to be pets. They are meant to be wild animals. Later, Mia is scheduled to depart on a two-week school trip, so Charlie must remain in his pen. Charlie slashes the farm worker who picks him up to take him there in retaliation. The employee pulls Charlie and his friends into the enclosure using a chain because Mia wants to stay and help but she can't be late. Mia is preoccupied during the trip since she misses her lion too much and isn't even paying attention to the soccer game she is playing in. Charlie misses her as much, so he refrains from eating and cleaning while her absence. He also stops defending himself against other lions. Mia is reminded of the farm enclosures when her class visits an abandoned prison. She decides to run away from her teachers and hitch a ride home since she can't bear the thought of Charlie being imprisoned. Mia has already returned, feeding Charlie and singing for him by the time Alice receives a call from the school informing her of what has occurred. Even though Charlie will be larger than Mia by the time he turns one, Charlie's larger stature, meanwhile, also poses a problem because he can now reach the dining table and snatch their food right out of the serving bowls. He's also devoured the television and enjoys chasing the animals that Mick looks after. Mia is told to keep Charlie outside by John, who shouts at her for the mess in the house. This time, Mia declines his call from his pal in England as she is viewing some lion documentaries one afternoon. Mia walks outdoors to find Charlie scratching a foreigner when she suddenly hears screaming outside. Mia tries to explain that he was terrified because it was the first time he had been in such a large group of people, but her father won't listen, so she makes a fuss in front of everyone. An irate John leads Mia back inside and tells her that the farm needs to turn a profit in order to be able to aid the lions before sending her to her room as another staffer takes the visitors away to walk the route. The following day, Dirk pays John a visit with the lions. Charlie and Mia continue to spend time together, although it is now always outside in his pen. 
Alice once asked Mia not to play with Charlie any longer after noticing Mia's arms were covered in scratches. Mia declines, stating that their connection is built on trust and that the lion is still learning how to manage his claws. Mia allows Charlie to jump on her from behind, which is against the rules, in order to make her point. Although they are joking around, this scares Alice. Charlie escapes while the family is away for supper since Mia didn't properly secure the enclosure before they left. The farm is now actually turning a profit, which is why the family is happy. The family had spent some time in London before they were ready to move back to the farm because their grandfather hadn't taken excellent care of it. When the family returns to the property and John notices the door is open, he immediately makes a call to his staff to send them in search of Charlie. Despite being forbidden to accompany them, Mia sneaks out to join the hunt as soon as they leave. Mia is unable to open the fence's new lock, so she considers going over. But Mick arrives and informs her that the fence is electrified. She need not fear, though, as Mick has the answer. He summons one of his elephant friends and commands it to use its enormous paw to smash the door. The brothers and sisters approach the wilderness and quickly locate Charlie, who had apparently escaped to save one of Mick's creatures. Before John discovers them, one of the staff members discovers the children as well and shows compassion for them, enabling the children to return to the house. After some time, Charlie is a fully grown lion at the age of two. Mia continues to spend time with the lion in defiance of her father's commands, even providing music for him in an old automobile. She persuades Mick to join her in the cage one afternoon, and everything is going smoothly up until Alice notices them. As she starts screaming and calls for John to come with his tranquilizer pistol, Charlie is startled and unintentionally knocks Mick to the ground. Fortunately, the child's head injury is not serious, but the parents had had enough, especially after Mia tells them that they are to blame for scaring the child rather than Charlie. Alice fears that selling Charlie will kill Mia, so John agrees to retain him only if Mia never steps foot inside the enclosure again. When Alice and Mick return from therapy a year later, Mick is in a worse mood than normal since they have a new doctor. When Alice won't tell Mia what Mick is going through, the latter decides to see Mick on her own. Mia reassures him that he isn't useless and points out how many animals he has rescued. She then takes him outdoors to reveal her secret to help him feel better. Mia plays with Charlie in the cage after sneaking past her father to see him every day. Mia assures Mick that the legend is accurate, white lions are unique, and one day both Charlie and Mick will be free. Mick records everything with his phone so he will always have this memories. The following evening, when one of Mick's pets surprises Jody by emerging inside one of her pots, the siblings chuckle. John uses Mick's opportunity to videotape the nice family moment and inadvertently discovers the footage of Mia and Charlie. John decides to sell Charlie to the first buyer out of rage at seeing his rules breached. Mia visits Charlie after he is sent to a different enclosure with the other wild lions and assures him she will come to his rescue later. She ends up dozing off against the fence, and when she awakens the following morning, John and the workers have just pulled up in a truck. Mia seizes the opportunity to climb up the trunk and follow them to find out where the lions are brought after they put a lioness to sleep so she can be sold. Mia is disgusted to learn the truth about these transactions when they arrive at their destination. Tourists can pay to shoot a lion in a controlled environment with Dirk's company and keep the trophy. John feels embarrassed to be there as well, but Dirk won't let him get away with it, reminding him that it's his business that makes it possible for John to keep the farm. John promises Dirk he will bring Charlie in two days because he doesn't really have a choice. When Mia gets home, she does some internet research and learns that many sanctuaries in Africa operate in this way legally to survive. They sell one to save a dozen. She can't even look her father in the eye at dinner because the knowledge that he has been doing this plagues her. So she skips supper and departs. Mia tells Mick the truth when he checks on her because he's the only person she can talk to. Mick agrees to assist her since she has also made the decision to flee with Charlie and take him to the Timbavati Game Reserve a haven for white lions. He makes hasty plans for Mia's journey, which will take two days by automobile and five or six days on foot. Mick agrees to give him all of his funds in addition to the amount of food Mia can fit in her backpack. Jody discovers Mia when she flees while everyone is asleep, but she isn't there to correct her, rather, she is there to assist. Mia may now liberate Charlie and the two of them can flee together after Jody hands her the enclosure's keys. She does, however, release a number of other creatures before leaving. 
This will give Mia an advantage in terms of time and distance as her family will be stuck inside when they awaken the following morning, until the workers show up to assist. As soon as the animals are put back in their enclosures, Mick sends Mia a message to warn her before John drives off in search of her in his vehicle. This is how the strategy works. When John discovers them, Charlie diverts his attention, which allows Mia to sneak up behind him and take the tranquilizer gun. Mia uses a dart to put her father to sleep and then steals the vehicle after calling him out on his lies and lack of desire. To make a difference in the world, Charlie may now safely and covertly travel in the back. John immediately calls the police after Mia texts Mick to let him know where he is so that he can be saved. Mia must leave the petrol station swiftly before the attendant recognizes her from the news when she stops to fill up the tank and buy some snacks. Mick contacts Mia to warn her that she needs to exit the highway since the police have also placed barricades in Newlands. Mia ends up in the center of a poor town as a result of making an abrupt, risky turn on the road to escape the police. Charlie tries to check on her after she almost falls asleep behind the wheel, but she is so irate that she loses it and begs the lion to kill her already. The two of them fall asleep on top of the truck while stargazing after Charlie quickly soothes her with a swipe of his paw. When Dirk calls John, demanding to know where Charlie is, John informs him that the lion is no longer for sale. The following day, after seeing the news, Dirk arrives to the farm and threatens to find Charlie first. John takes Mick and Alice with him to join the hunt because he is desperate not to let him get there before him, especially after learning that the police had been given authority to shoot. Returning to Mia, she informs her that the map she has been using is outdated and that the region she was intended to cross has been replaced with a shopping center as she completes the driving portion of the journey. Mia makes the dangerous decision to force Charlie out of the truck and into the mall with her since she has no other choice. Since everyone is afraid of the lion and avoids them, they can simply locate the rear entrance and exit via it to reach the forest. Charlie is content to be out in nature and even starts to hunt, which enables Mia to preserve some meat for later. Following Mia's overnight stay perched atop a tree, Dirk follows them and attempts to apprehend them, but Charlie bites him and scares away the tourist who was interested in buying him. When Mia's family shows up following the pair's escape, John tells Dirk not to make eye contact with them again. John finally admits that Mia is aware of the hunting when Alice becomes perplexed by everything. There is a fight since John had sworn that it wouldn't happen again after unintentionally witnessing a kill the previous time, which traumatized Mick and forced them to leave to London. Mick informs the children that Mia is bringing Charlie to the Shangan People's Reserve in order to quell their parents' argument. Mia, who is sunburned and out of supplies, starts to feel the effects of the journey. When they reach Timbavati, he is no longer able to move so Charlie must complete the remaining section by himself. Unfortunately, when her family and the police show up, they're prepared to open fire. John, inspired by his daughter's remarks, decides he really does want to make a difference in the world. As a result, he stands in the way of Charlie and the police, allowing the lion to cross the bridge and join the reserve where he can't be hurt legally. Months after their reunion, Mia and her family go to the reserve to see Charlie enjoying his new children. In the past 100 years, the number of lions in Africa has decreased by 90%. Although they are not regarded as an endangered species, at this rate, they will vanish from the natural world in 20 years. That was all from the video.